guys, uh, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming, and we are back with another Dragon Champion video, guys. Today, we're going to talk about Renta. We're going to be covering two different builds for her because you can build her for the first to be tanky with her pet, or you can build her to face the last boss in a raid uh, with as much damage as you can, especially from her third skill. Those are two actual viable build for her. The more defensive build, tanky build, usually you want to use that like in tournament. Uh, if you use her in arena, although end game, it's not recommended uh, for tower mode, all those game modes, you need to have a well-built uh, tanky uh, renta. Now, if you use her in the raid, then you need to have an offensive renta. So it's really dependent where you're gonna be using your renta. So this is what we're gonna be talking about in this video, guys. We're gonna explain build build and how to do it properly. But before we get into that, guys, if you are a new player to the game or if you are level 15 or below and wanna get $10 worth of freebies, it is very, very simple. You go in settings, you go in use promo code and you enter the word Starco. And then you press OK and you will receive $10 worth of freebie. Well, obviously, uh, I cannot because I'm level 80, so I cannot use it. But that's instead of to say, hey, you can't, it will give you $10 of freebie, which is going to give you a really good head start as you start playing the game. OK, so let's jump into Renta here. Let's scroll down uh, again guys my orc I am not getting them to gear 11 yet because I want to be testing them in gear 9 and 10 to see if we can accomplish uh, 7 star solius so without getting any of them uh, to gear 11 so this is why I'm not finishing my orcs yet but definitely orcs are a very very solid team and you actually need a very solid orc team for um, tower mode if you want to get all the side rooms uh, on hard mode or on normal mode depending where you progress so getting those orcs up is going to be a top priority once i get there definitely but we're not there yet today we are talking about renta and uh, where should we use her well first she is the second best orc leader after zira well the best free to play orc leader uh her leadership is amazing if you're gonna use her as leader this is the most important ability to max out literally the most important ability on renta to max out if you're gonna use her as a leader is that this this leadership is amazing let's go through it both the physical damage and magical damage of all life from the clan increased by 25 percent all light orcs gain 5% lifesteal for each living orc in the party. So much healing, so much damage. The critical damage of all light goblins, if you play with goblins, uh, increased by 10% for each uh, and living goblins in the party. And the tenacity of all allies from the pride increased by 5% for each living pride. So basically, she is one of the best clan leader not only for orcs if you do a full orcs team she's going to be amazing but not only for orcs but for prides for goblins she is just amazing leader so if you don't have zero for that leadership in uh in the clan pretty much this is the best leader you're going to be having well one of the best leader maybe not the best uh, depending on team situation but one of the best leader without a single doubt so if you're gonna use her as leader this ability is the most important ability to max out now if you're gonna use her as a damage dealer if you're gonna use her as the damage dealer uh, this is the most important skill to get up you get see shoot eight arrows at enemies so if you have a single target it's eight hit on the single target if you have multi target it's eight hits spread around all the target dealing 80% damage or 80% of physical damage per hit. So basically, if you go with eight arrows on the same target, this is going to do, if my maths are correct, 640% of physical damage. The, like on the dragon in the last phase of the raid, this is a lot of damage. This 
is a lot of damage. The cooldown is very high to cooldown is five turn. Well, the first time you use it, it's after two turns of cooldown. After that, it's five turns, so a very high cooldown, but it's kind of normal with how powerful this ability he is. And what you want to build, uh, just quick, I'm not, we're going to talk about the rune later, but if you want to build uh, Renara, uh, not Renara, but Renta <laughs> for damage, you need to give her critical rate and critical damage because the more she's going to crit the more damage she's going to achieve with that skill that is for the offensive build now if we talk about defensive build defensive build what abilities are important uh this ability uh, after the leadership if you do the leadership parts if you don't do the leadership part this is going to be the number one priority for um uh, for the tanky build, uh, some uh, battle put, battle poo, <laughs> without 80% of Renta health and 50% of her damage, only one battle poo can be summoned at the time using the ability again, will restore 50% of the battle poo health. And that is if you level it to maximum. Then you add the passive ability. While battle put is alive, Renta physical and magic armor is increased by 30 percent and that is if you level it to six which is very important if you're going to be playing your tanky survival ability and to, for that so if you play her offensively raid you want to get the third skill up at six level six first the, well if you don't do the leadership leadership is always first if you plan to use her as a leader if you don't plan to use her as a leader or after the leadership a skill so damage dealer is going to be under volley that is the most important skill and for tanky uh, first you want to get your beast summon to level six and then you want to get your old friend to level six i still have to finish my old friend i know uh, and then you have the first skill um the first skill is not that crazy this is a skill you can pretty much ignore uh you deal 240 percent of physical damage to an enemy which is not that much and you call battle battle pool to assist you uh, if he's alive uh, and he's not going to do much damage so it's pretty much just to uh, remove a stack from the dragon uh, buff that he has on, in the raid and that's pretty much what this ability is going to do it's not going to do much more than that to be honest uh, you don't apply any debuff or anything like that so it's really just a little bit extra damage so this skill is not important no matter the web build you are actually running with this is really the other skills that are important again the volley for dps build and then the b summon and the old friend for the tanky build now if we talk about runes if you are going to build her for for a tanky you need as much hp as possible that is the primary and armor to armor is very useful so my recommendation is uh, one armor set with two hp set and on the primaries, what you want to get, well, primaries and secondary, you want to get as much HP and armor as you can, obviously. But primaries here, you want to have Elt on the first primary, Northeast primary. On the South primary, you want to have uh, armor. And on the Northwest primary, you want to have Elt or Tenacity. Both are actually pretty good. And on secondary stats, you see Elt, Shield, Elt, Shield, armor shield health uh shield shield armor armor shield and uh armor you can see i tried to put as much armor hp and shield on her so she is as tinky as possible which is what's very very important for renta and for her summon now if you're going to build her for pv uh, i mean damage uh, what you want to do guys it's pretty simple you want to go one set of critical rate so two two critical rate and four critical damage uh, as the uh, the primary what you want to get here the first primary here is going to be speed the primary at the bottom will be critical rate or critical damage and the north west primary is going to be damage those are going to be the primary you want there if you build her for the volley build if you build her for the tanky build this is the rune and the explanation we just show with the runes you want to do and that pretty much cover her now how do you play her 
it's actually pretty simple um if you you if you use her on a defensive tanky and you use uh, this skill on cooldown and on offensive this skill on cooldown and fill with this one and if you play offensive well pretty much you always do the same thing it's always get your beast out use your third skill on cooldown and use the other one as filler it doesn't really matter where you play her it's always the same rotation unless you're fighting a for example you're fighting a raid fight and the ads are about to be done like you're not the last level you are for example uh you are fighting soldiers for example so and you want to do as much damage as possible on soldiers your volley is ready but both uh darian and uh little betty are still alive on the side you want to wait for them to die before you use your volley to get as much damage as possible on the bus for example so that's a little bit of example of adaptation uh, that you want to do pretty much so that pretty much cover rent i guess she is a very very solid orc uh obviously once you get if you get zero you're pretty much going to replace your uh your renta but if you fight orc in a uh, tower mode or she is actually needed in some tournaments as pra as as mandatory character she is definitely worth building and she is a lot of fun to play to be honest and uh yeah that's pretty much what covers rental guys so uh, if you have any question comment feedback guys there's this comment section down below make sure to ask me anything and i'll get back to you guys uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video if you enjoy the content you all have a good day guys and i will see you next time